Hi everyone, my name is Nick, and today I just wanted to come on here to do a quick-ish video about planty gifts for planty people that aren't plants. So the more someone's houseplant collection grows, the harder it gets to buy the right houseplant for them. And if they have a houseplant wish list, chances are there's a couple plants on that list that are worth more than diamonds. So I wanted to offer you guys some phenomenal options for planty gifts like I said, that aren't plants, that I think are real upgrades to the plant lover's home. And I want to say right off the bat that I am going to be talking about specific brands today, but none of this is sponsored. There is absolutely no paid promotion going on here. This is stuff that I wholeheartedly recommend, and I think that you guys might enjoy. And if you don't want to spend $1,000 on a variegated Monstera for your uh, boyfriend or girlfriend, then... Um, Maybe these are some other options. So uh, the first one I want to talk about today is for the terracotta lover out there. So this, this is one of my favorite brands of pottery. This is called Berg's Potter, and I'll include a link or two of where you can purchase this below and perhaps their website. But this is, like I said, really one of my favorite brands of pottery. They do some really incredible planters, both glazed and unglazed. So the unglazed, uh, they come in two colors as far as I'm aware, which is just your standard terracotta and the basalt or the gray terracotta and uh, this is just some nice heavy duty it's very hefty it's very well made um, terracotta it's much nicer in my opinion than the standard terracotta that you get at the store for just a couple of dollars and these you know aren't I'm not gonna call them cheap but they're not really expensive either I'd say you can get a planter for like the, the of like a four or five inch unglazed planter is probably gonna cost you like 15 to 20 dollars including the saucer so they're not terracotta cheap by any means but they are worth every penny in my opinion in fact I really consider these planters to be nearly magic anytime I have a plant that I am like not sure if it's going to do incredibly well in my home I plant it in an unglazed Berg's pot and it always does very well for me so I do swear by these planters for that reason as well but I really do love the glazed pottery as well it is a little bit more pricey than I would sometimes like to pay, but I am obsessed with the colors. They have a couple of colors, but I think the most prevalent ones they have in the United States is a wonderful shade of green and a wonderful shade of like mustard yellow. So I love these. I think they make an absolute statement in your home. So I put these in places in my home where I'm really going to notice them and I always like to match my plant with it accordingly. I think they look fantastic. Like I said, I think they really make a statement. So if you are buying for a plant lover and they like those colors or if they're, like, they're a terracotta lover, I would say this is a really excellent plant to give them. And they're going to want to get more more of them because I, you know, started with the one sample I got from the company when I worked at the, the store, Urban Jungle, and I have so many of these planters in my home now that I have spent my own money on tenfold, so I, I need to cool it with the Berg's planters, but one of my favorite brands of planters, I think they're so incredibly well made, they're a decent price for what they are, and like I said, I really do consider them to be nearly magic, so... I have to talk about them today. And very similar, I really wanted to spotlight just like handmade, locally made pottery. It doesn't have to be local. You can buy from any small artist, but specifically small artists. Many houseplant stores like to source in local pottery from small local artists. So it's something you can find at a lot of local houseplant stores, or you can just go on Etsy and find some nice companies that you like to support. But I think any houseplant enthusiast is a big fan of nice, well-made, handmade pottery. So it's something that I really appreciate myself, but it's something, like I said, you can find in your local houseplant stores. You might even have some um, ceramic or pottery galleries in your area. I think that uh, the planter really makes the plant. So I think it's just like a dance that the plant and the planter do, and it just looks incredible. Like here, I have this Berg's planter, like I was saying. And this green aglionema and the white, I feel like they just like do this beautiful like symbiotic dance together of just beauty. And I don't know, I sound kind of wild and crazy right now, but I just think it's it's such a thing. Matching your plant with a beautiful planter, I just think it's so detrimental and it really does upgrade your space. It's like a quality of life improvement, you know what I mean? It just, it just feels nice. Anyway, thank you for the honk. Um, oh my God. So uh, next I would like to... Okay, I think they're done. I would like to spotlight um, Aaron Apsley. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him. He does um, prints, he does watercolor uh, art of plants. So he literally recreates the plant. Like he puts the plant in front of him and he recreates it in art with watercolor. I'm probably wording that completely different than I need to, but he does such an incredible job. I'll link his Instagram below and his web store. Like I said, this is 0% sponsored there is I don't he doesn't even know I'm saying this but I absolutely love his art I have a couple of his pieces in my home I think they're incredible he really like nails the image to the T it's fantastic it just looks so good it's so real if you can't afford to spend 
$1,000 on a variegated Monstera, you could buy one of his prints for a lot less than that. So I think it's fantastic that he, he does that to make, you know, plants accessible to everybody, even if it's not the physical plant. So I think that's an excellent alternative. I would say, but really plant art is fantastic. It really fits seamlessly into my home. He does such an incredible job. You frame it in like a nice wood frame and it just looks so good. So something I absolutely love, really big fan of Aaron Apsley. I know a lot of people like to use his like, um, there's like a pothos print and syndapsis prints and people like to use them almost as like checklists to get all of the different types of pothos or syndapsis or philodendrons or what have it in their home. So I think that's a really cool uh, use for them as well. I think it's, it's, it's really neat. I think it's very, very closely plant related. So I'm, I'm letting it slide for this video, but I'm a really big fan of dried flowers and pairing it with a nice vase or even just like using like a liquor bottle. I use like Hendrix bottles all the time. I have a, at least two Hendrix bottles in my home that have um, dried flowers in them, but I think dried flower bouquets go so seamlessly with houseplants. It just looks so incredible. I think if you have a shelf and you just put like a nice little thing of dried flowers on it and a little plant, a little snake plant or something and a little crystal or something, I feel like it's such a vibe. And a candle, oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god, but it, they just look so good. I, there's so many different types of dried flowers. This is something, once again, I kind of think go hand in hand because a lot of house plant stores sell dried flowers and will do dried flower bouquets or perhaps let you make a dried flower bouquet. So I think it's just so incredible. And you can use so many things. Like I said, I use Hendrix bottles as well as other bottles and other vases that I purchased. A vase is probably the nicest thing you could use. But I even got, I love blue coat gin and I got like a blue coat gin cam recently at a bar and I'm just saving that to do a little dried flower engine. And there's so many options, but I think they go, like I said, so seamlessly with houseplants. Really, it just gives you so much more like texture and life. And really it's just like that vintage boho vibe, which a lot of houseplant enthusiasts are going for. So I think, that's an incredible gift. And also they're dried so they don't die. Like I love cut flowers as well, but they're only gonna last you for a week and dried flowers cost just about the same, but they are going to last literally forever. So something I absolutely love. I have a bunch of dried flowers in my home. Like I said, they fit seamlessly and I will always be adding more dried flowers to my home because uh, it's just the vibe that I'm looking for. And maybe it's the vibe you're looking for too. I wanna to talk about next about um, the Soltec Solutions Aspect Light, which is my favorite grow light that I use in my home. It's actually what is producing this light behind me here. And as I said, there's no sponsor, no pay promotion going on here, but I do have a discount code that I've had for a couple of years that I will put on screen and link below. It's Philly Foliage 15. That would get you 15% off your purchase. And of course I will get a small kickback from that. Just have to make that clear. But this, is like my favorite grow light. I use it to illuminate this corner right here and it just turns this what was once a extremely dark corner in my home into this lush, honestly paradise. Like I had just the saddest piece of growing here. You can actually go back. I had, maybe I'll link it if I remember, but it was a plant corner makeover video that I did last year. And that's when I redid uh, kind of like the, this to the bare bones. It's definitely kind of, you know, exploded into something else since that video, but I um, really can attribute this Soltec Solutions light to my Raphidophora tetrasperma growing so well. Of course, people are probably going to comment on the like five leaves down here that have brown on it, but you can't see the rest of the trellis that's just completely overgrown and green and lush. It's fantastic. And all of my other plants that I have back here, like I have Hoyas, Anthuriums, a couple of Anthuriums, a bunch of different philodendrons, even my Amidrium up there. And they all just do so well in this setting. And I think that's so great because a lot of these plants I really would want to kind of uh, thrust into my bedroom where I keep the humidity high. It's hot in there. It's very hot, specifically in the wintertime. It's like 80 degrees in there. Um, and a lot of these plants are more tropical plants that would probably appreciate a little bit more of that setting. But this aspect light just kind of like warms them up and um, it's not like hot, hot, I should tell you, but like if the plant got too close to the light, it would definitely burn. But all of these are kind of within like five, six feet and they are pushing, you know, this is rather far away from the grow light, I would say, but I think they do phenomenally. So and then the, cro the closer they grow to the grow light, of course, they do much better. But such an incredible grow light. It really just like does everything I need to be done in this corner. I think it looks fantastic. It's like a luxury grow light, so it, it really looks good. It works extremely well. I can't give it enough praise. It's a local company to me here in Philadelphia. They're in Bethlehem, so that's something I really appreciate as well. But such an incredible company with such an incredible product. And they have a couple other like additions that they use as well with the 
aspect light. Mine's just plain, but they have like a very like steampunk vintage vibe that they have with their company. So I'm a really big fan. They do a really good job. And I, I think my discount code might work for everything on their website, but I can't, I can't say for sure. It might just work for the aspect light, aspect lights, but you can let me know in the comments if you try out. I should probably know that, but I love this product. I think it's so incredible. It's something that I quite literally use every day because it's set on a timer and my plants would not be the way they are in this corner without it. They would, they would be straight up dead. So have to give so much credit to the Soltech Solutions Aspect Light. And last but not least, I wanted to talk about macrame. This is a very broad thing. You can do so much with macrame. Just like handmade pottery, this is another thing you can go on Etsy to purchase from small businesses and artists who are making it themselves and selling it on their own stores. This is something you could also go to local houseplant stores and purchase. I don't think this is something that is as commonly sourced from local artists, but um, some houseplant stores do sell it, but they do often, at least at Urban Jungle, we would buy like wholesale macrame, which still looked good in my opinion, but I think it's a little nicer to support a local artist. This is also something you could do yourself. I make 95% of the macrame I have in my home is made by me. I think it's so fun and there's so many options. So there's just like making a plant hanger where you're physically hanging the plant in it. You can also do a wall hanging, which I think is really fun and a great way to save on surface space without having to put a hook in your ceiling. You just put a nail on the wall or if it's light enough, you could probably get away with a command hook, but I, I don't know if I would recommend that. But um, yeah, it's a really incredible option. There are so many um, things you could do with it. It's very versatile and um, like I said, you can make it yourself, which makes it an even more heartfelt gift. Something I would definitely recommend, but like I said, if you could support a local artist, that would be great, but I don't have a problem with you making your own macrame either. I think that's pretty damn cool. So that's gonna do it for this video. I'm sure I rambled on longer than I would have liked. This was trying to be a quicker video, but uh, these are gifts that I wholeheartedly recommend. These are all things I use in my home, and I think it's, like I said, a quality of life improvement for the plant enthusiast. And you don't have to get them a plant. You don't have to get them that thousand dollar variegated monstera. You can just buy them something that costs maybe like $50 instead. That's just, just as nice in my opinion. And maybe the variegated monstera will cost $50 in like two years. We don't know, so. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram at Philly Foliage, subscribe to my channel. I will link everything below, and have a great day.